Posture, 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 guys. I'm talking about all my athletes. Maintaining posture from your stance. Stay tall. All these cues I use, there's a reason for it. If you watch Otani here, gosh, he stays tall. I mean, like, these angles are just great, right? He is really tall. Backside, right? I want, I mean, I'm trying to get all my players to understand this. Maintain that shin angle. I almost want it straight up and down is what my goal is. It doesn't matter as much in your stance. Just have a small angle, right? Looking here, I want this shin angle to be almost straight up and down so I'm in my heel. The second this knee starts buckling out that way, guess what? I'm hitting off my toe over here. I don't want that. Don't want to be on my toes. I want to hit in my heel. Hit in my heel. I want to stay in that all the way through my load when I'm doing this, right? When I'm loading, watch him stay in that back heel, guys. He is maintaining that back heel long as he can. He is in the heel. So once he gets into his move, that, right, the hips are starting to turn. We're really focus on the bottom half here. He is in the ground. He is not letting this knee go out. The back knee I'm looking at, not the front knee. He doesn't let that knee go out. He really is in that backside. And he's in this heel forever. I'm looking at that heel. Ah, uh, why is that? There you go. He's in the ground, guys. Till that other heel gets down. Right? Other heel's getting down. Other heel's there. Looks awkward as heck. But hold the ground, guys. Don't. Don't hit off. Don't squish the bug. Peel the heel, right? See how he peels it off the ground. And then he's going to release the back foot as the hips come through. Right? We don't force the issue. We do not force our back foot to either squish the bug or anything else. Once you get out of the ground when you're transferring, I just release the back foot to whoever wants to go, right? He releases into the front side, transfers weight fine, but he's still back. He's still behind, still in his back side. Like, he's still behind the ball. Head is behind his front hip if I look the whole swing. And then watch his back foot. He's going to scissor through this so he can stay to the inside of that ball even longer. See how long he hides that barrel? Back foot is going to scissor or whatever you want to call it. People call it different things. I call it scissoring. Back foot scissors because that's what the hips are kind of doing. This back hip actually drives down. Back knee is driving down. Everything's driving down. This back should back foot will release. And it scissors there so he can actually stay inside that ball longer. Right? So let the back foot do what it wants. I don't force the issue. If their natural move is to scissor through. Um, some guys do it on their like three two counts. They got two strikes on them. They're going to scissor and try to drive to opposite field and stay through the ball longer and not go for power. Some guys can do it with power. I haven't, it, I haven't been seeing more lefties do this lately. Not a lot of, I mean, like righties do it all the time, but lefties, it's a new thing that I'm starting to see. They're actually working on this just to stay on the inside of the ball longer. Chest is closed. All right, he's trying to stay here, here, here. He doesn't want that front shoulder to fly open. See how long, chest over home plate. His chest stays over home plate as his hips fired through. Right, all these good things. It just allows the back foot to scissor and stay the inside of the ball. He still hasn't even shown the barrel, right? That ball is almost there. Barrel still hidden. This is a lost concept to a lot. All right, swing the knob, not the barrel. Let the barrel release. Right, as you're making contact, that back foot should be loose, guys. That's the transfer we want right into the ball. So the back foot's loose, scissors, stay through it, stays through it. That kinetic energy from the ground on up, all transferred in, all the way through that bat. And we're good, right? Then he's crushing, stays through, and he's finishing in his backside. Staying behind the ball, staying tall. And when I say tall, I mean people give me crap all this all the time. <laughs> I don't mean the lower half, guys. I mean the upper half. I'm looking at the upper half when I say stay tall. My back knee bent. Top side is tall, all right? All right, go work on it. Go get some.